Welcome to Designing Spaces Think Green, a special edition of the show that's all about you, your space, your home, and your surroundings. I'm Ted Brunson. Home and surroundings. The environment. Today, most of us are becoming increasingly aware of how we affect the environment. Reduce, reuse, recycle, and respect. We at Designing Spaces feel it's time all of us take care of our home, the ultimate living space, planet Earth. So let's get started right now and think green. Clean drinking water is often taken for granted, and the materials and energy used for the production and distribution of clean drinking water is certainly taking a toll on the environment. So the question is, how do we get clean drinking water now? Just pull it out of thin air? The answer is yes. Sound like magic? Well, let's join Rhonda Castagna, one of our correspondents, as she shows us how you can create your own drinking water in your own home. Take a look. Water is one of our most precious commodities and one that is most taken for granted. You turn on a tap and you get water. Not just any water, but drinkable water. You open the refrigerator and there it is, just where you put it, bottled water. Bottled water leaves behind a growing pile of plastic in landfills. And tap water may contain contaminants and put a strain on municipal water supplies. Welcome to the home of Jim and Mary Howard, where business as usual is run from a home office. Jim and Mary have discovered there is a way to get drinking water from a renewable source with no wasted plastic, no wasted energy, and no wasted water. Today, Think Green takes a look at how you can drink green. Joining us is Dr. Stephen Krauss from Atmospheric Water Systems to tell us about a unique appliance right here in the Howard's home. Hello, Dr. Krauss. Thank you so much for joining me today on the show. It's a pleasure to be here, Rhonda. Okay, so let's go take a look at what Jim and Mary have set up in their office. Let's go. Okay. We are standing next to something that looks like a regular water cooler, but in fact, this is a revolutionary source for fresh drinking water, right? That's absolutely right, Rhonda. This is the Dewpoint Atmospheric Water Generator, and it produces water from moisture that happens to be in the air. Okay, wow. So it pulls water out of the air? That's right. Humidity is the source of the water that's in the dew point system. Humidity is moisture in the air, and we actually condense, or through the condensation process, extract that moisture. And that's the source of the water that's in here. Think of, for example, the dew that's on grass in the morning. Oh, I see. Okay, so you get the dew and the condensation when the temperature drops overnight. That's absolutely correct. We use the same basic principles. We start by filtering the air. Mm -hmm. After we do that, we drop the temperature of the air to its dew point. When it reaches the dew point, it condenses on the coils, and we have that water available for use. It's much like a dehumidifier. Okay, so there's no need to hook up any plumbing then for this? Absolutely not. Uh, all you need is an AC outlet and you're ready to go. Oh great, so that means you can use it in any room in your home. Any room, it's, it's strictly right out of the box ready to work. The water is pure, right? Yes, condensed water is pure. Actually, it's more than 99% pure water. Oh wow. Maybe it's best for you to understand the process that we use to purify the water. We go through a multi-step filtration system. One of the first steps, of course, is going through activated charcoal. The other step is to use a reverse osmosis system, and it's zero waste. And lastly, we go through a number of stages of ultraviolet light that sanitize the water and make it pure for drinking. Okay, so why not just filter tap water? Well, that's a great question, but unfortunately, no matter how sophisticated the system is, no matter how expensive the system is, it can't eliminate all the contaminants that are in tap water. Okay, so how much water will this produce? Under the right conditions, the dew point will produce up to 8.4 gallons a day. Wow. And it has a 3.6 gallon storage capacity. Wow, that's a lot of water. Now, is this cost effective? Rhonda, this is very cost effective. Dew point water runs about 60 cents a gallon. When you compare that to bottled water, for example, it can range anywhere from $2.50 a gallon to as much as $15 a gallon. Very you can expensive. see the dew point's much better to use. Um, in addition, you're assured of your quality, your purity, the availability, and what's nice about it is you're actually reducing the overall carbon footprint of your family. 
Oh, let me add that the dew point has simplified all those little things that you don't normally think about. It saves space in our fridge, no more bottled water stacked up in there anymore, and it's saved us time walking back and forth to the kitchen when we want a drink. So when I'm thirsty, here's my cup, and I just turn to the dew point. It's a lot more convenient. Well, that does sound very convenient. So now the water is chilled, right? Yes, actually, it's cold and hot water on demand. Okay, great. And I love that it doesn't have a chemical or plastic taste. Well, thank you so much, Jim and Mary, for inviting me into your home and to see an example of a green appliance in use. Now, Dr. Krause, can we talk about the environmental effect of the dew point? Other than clean and healthy water and the problem with plastic bottles in the landfills, why bother extracting water from air? Rhonda, we have a global water crisis. You know, fresh water is a limited resource. Only 3% of all the water on the planet is fresh water. Most of that is locked up in ice and glaciers, snow, and simply we just can't get at it. That leaves only 1% of all the available water left for 6.6 billion people. Wow, and that number is increasing every day. Well, it's certainly increasing, and the sad part is, is between agricultural use and industrial use, that water demand is simply going through the roof. And there's just not enough water for everybody to drink. There's good news. There's plenty of water in the atmosphere, and it's renewable. We're not tapping into groundwater. We're not tapping into reservoirs or lakes or streams. We're not depleting any of those natural resources. We're getting a renewable supply of water. It's always there and it's always available. There's actually 3.1 quadrillion gallons of water at any time in the atmosphere. Wow. Now that's hard to really fathom and understand. Imagine the United States of America and all its land mass submerged under 10 feet of water every single day. That's how much water is in the atmosphere at any one time. The neat thing about the dew point is it's able to capture some of that moisture. Dew point water is just one responsible way of helping to solve the global water crisis. So Dr. Cross, where can our viewers get more information about the dew point? The best thing they can do is go to our website, which is dewpoint with an e, okay. water.com. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Cross. Thank you too. You're welcome. Visit Think Green at designingspaces.tv where you can see this show again or find links for more information. For Think Green, I'm Rhonda Castagna. So what do we want to leave behind for future generations? Well, we all have the power and the ability to make a difference. We have a choice, and it's a choice like no other in human history. Let's work together for a healthier world. For Designing Spaces Think Green, I'm Ted Brunson. See you next time. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.